I think as a string player, I felt that he would follow anything that I did. And we did play it really quite a lot around the world together. And every performance was really different. Uh, and I felt that I could do things with Yehudi and he'd be watching the point of my bow or, you know, uh, and I felt he would be there. I know there are some people who, who think that perhaps, you know, he wasn't a, a great conductor, uh, but he was a great musician. And, and I felt very comfortable playing the concerto with him. One of the things I loved about working with Yehudi Menuhin was that he would he had this incredible sense of a long musical line. And of course, in something like the Elgar slow movement, that is so important. And I do believe that that is one take, um, which is something that you know people aim for in a recording studio. But that is is very unusual and, and absolutely wonderful when it happens. So um, I know that we certainly at the most took it once again. Um, it was it was just there. And I remember actually one time with Yehudi, um, it was a concert uh, in aid of the uh, victims of the earthquake in Armenia. And it was with the Royal Philharmonic and I believe that the whole thing was televised. And I remember for some reason, we were not able to rehearse. There, there was just literally no rehearsal. I, I don't, can't remember what it was, uh, but that's the way that it was. And of course, I'd done the, the concerto so many times, or, or maybe a few times by that point, with Yehudi and the RPO. And I remember we just went on and we just played it. And it was fine. They, we all, we all knew it, and and it was, in a sense, especially moving because of that, and especially under those particular circumstances. Mm -hmm.